Well, good morning. This is Cindy from the New Moon Tarot. I'm a witch and a tarot card reader, and today I'm unboxing the May edition of the Goddess Provisions box. Uh, the theme this month is Earth Magic, which is kind of perfect for spring. I've also got my cup of coffee. <laughs> I'm really looking forward to opening this. Um, it's been a, a little bit of a rough couple of weeks, and oh, I need a little self-care. This is basically a self-care slash spiritual slash slightly witchy kind of a box. Uh, it's sort of unique in that way. There's things like crystals and self-care and ritual items, um, lots of good energy that comes in this box. Now, uh, for full disclosure, they do send this to me free of charge. However, all of the opinions are my own. It's roughly $30, and I will leave a link down below in the description box if you want to check it out. So, let's take a little look at some earth magic here. Ooh. Now, as you can see, it looks like we have a little roll-on, which I'm excited about. I'm a sucker for oils. And maybe even a candle in here. So, oh, this looks good. Just what the doctor ordered. So, let's take a further look inside. So the first item we have is this Earth Magic oil. It's an anointing oil and it comes in one of those little roll-on bottles, which is super convenient. Uh, it has the Earth symbol on it, which I love. Symbology is really important in witchcraft. And this one comes with a Neon Appetite and Moss Agate chip inside. So Neon Appetite is a great stone. It's really good for clearing confusion and frustration. It's also really good if you're kind of like angry and upset and kind of in a bad mood. So, you know, this is pretty much perfect for how I am right now. I'm, I'm in the process of clearing out my parents' estate. So, um, selling the house and going through their, you know, their taxes and all of this stuff. And it's just very, it's a kind of exhausting and tiring. But anyway, we have the moss agate here. That's a healing crystal. Also very earthy, very spring. Um, moss agate has this beautiful kind of, well, mothering sort of energy to it. Um, I have a pendant in moss agate, and I tend to wear it whenever, well, I need a little bit of love. So this is perfect. It is lemon oil in it and blood orange and lavender oh the lavender that's what i'm smelling in the background it smells very bright and light um it has a a soothing kind of a, a vibe to it so this is very welcome we have a really cute pair of cosmic flora socks uh they're purple they look really cozy like what you would wear at night when you're trying to get warm and, you know, lay in your bed. So these are cute. And we have an unakite, which is a heart chakra stone. It's very, it's again, very soothing, very healing. Um, it's a heart chakra opening kind of a stone. So this is also pretty perfect for the theme here. I see what you're doing, goddess provisions. I see what you're doing. Ooh, and it looks like we have a gratitude candle, which is always welcome. So let's take a look at it and see what it looks like on the inside. So this smells like gardenia. This is it scented with gardenia essential oil. And <clears throat> there is a rose quartz on the top of it which I love when they put crystals and I like glitter and herbs and, you know, all the things in my candle. So I'm probably going to judge this up a little bit as well. Um, infuse a little intention in it. One thing that's sort of interesting here is my grandmother wore a gardenia perfume and this really kind of brings back memories of my, my grandmother, which is kind of unique here. So I'm already feeling a little bit of a ritual. We've got the anointing oil over there. You've got the crystal. Hmm. So we have a super cute little altar cloth in here as well. 
<clears throat> which is helpful to put on your sacred space. I have several altars in my house, and I think this is going on my main altar. So what I'm feeling here with this is a ritual around motherhood. Um, I lost my mother in November of 2019, and Mother's Day is hard. Um, this Mother's Day, this Sunday, if you're in the U.S., and... I think what I'm going to do is a little ritual of gratitude for probably my mother and my grandmother, um, the women in my life that have been inspirations, who have been there for me, um, mentors, um, particularly my mother and my grandmother, I think. There's a lot of mothering energy that comes along with this earth box, which is probably why they put it together. Uh, we're not done, of course, but... There's everything that you need for a ritual here with that oil, this little heart-shaped unikite, um, and that little gratitude candle. This is very like self-love and nurturing and mothering and nourishing yourself. And um, yeah, that's what I'm planning on doing with this. I'm going to say a little prayer for the wonderful women who, you know, loved me into being. So this is an adorable little like plant pot cozy. Uh, let's see. Well, they call it a plant pot holder, but I want to call it a cozy. It fits a five inch pot and saucer. So I think I'm going to take a cutting from one of my mom's plants that's still alive. Um, and I'm going to, you know, make a little baby with the plant. I think that's an, really a good way to honor her. She really loved taking care of her plants. There's actually one called Baby uh, that used to belong to my grandmother that my mother still has. My aunt also has um, a cutting from that plant. So I think I'm going to probably take a cutting of Baby. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that instead of my mother's plant. There's a lot of um, my the three most important women in my life. Um, well, actually, there's four. There's my sister. My sister, my mother, my aunt, my grandmother. Um, I'm feeling a little bit of, of gratitude for those women. So, yeah, I think I need to take a cutting of baby and bring this to my new home that I move into in Florida uh, at the end of the summer. Oh, and we have something called Last Swab, which is a little eco, basically... Hmm. This replaces cotton swabs. So that's kind of cute. I didn't even know there was such a thing. It says you can reuse it. I'm going to have to learn a little bit more about how to use that and take care of it. But that's also a good option. Take a little good care of the earth here. So I'm going to show you everything that came in the box. So overall, I'm loving this box. Um... It's very nurturing, healing, grounded, earthy energy, and I think it's going to be kind of perfect for this Sunday whenever it's Mother's Day. Um, my sister and I are taking flowers from our parents' house. Um, my mom had a thing for lilacs, so we're going to take some lilacs to her grave, and I think we're going to do this little ritual together and just say a little... Um, prayer or a little bit of an invocation or spell, however you like to think about it, for the women who are just really freaking awesome in our lives. All right. Well, thank you so much for watching. If you're curious about this box and you want to check it out, you can check out my link below in the description box. Thank you for watching and blessed be.